Hi, my name is Jane Sullivan and I'm with EXP Realty. And I'd like to show you some of the things that I love about Madison, Georgia. It's a wonderful small town with a lot of history. Come with me, we'll, we'll see some of the parks, see some of the houses here, and hopefully we'll have a little fun together. Maybe even find some things, good things to eat and drink. We'll see you soon. Thought what I'd do is take you on a little tour of some of our subdivisions. The one that we're getting ready to see is called Beacon Heights, and this half, this subdivision is divided into two parts. The half that we're going to see is considered Beacon Lights. Um, I found out that the story behind the name of Beacon Lights is that the old airport used to be down at the end of the main road, and the cars would line up at, and point their headlights so that the planes coming in could see where to go to land and find the landing strip. And that's why they called it Beacon Lights. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't know how true that is or not. I don't know where to verify those facts, but um, they said that the airport used to be uh, over in this area. They've moved it now, um, but you can come down this way and see how Commerce Street looks like it could be um, an airport. The thing that I like about the subdivision, besides the fact that I live here, is that it's a very big mix of different kinds of people. Uh, we have lower income, we have middle un income, we have some upper income people that live here um, that have just choose that just choose to live here because they've their families have been here forever and um, some of these homes are family owned and in the generations just have continued to grow up here and live here. Uh, my home was actually built in 1960, so a couple of generations. Apparently, these homes were built um, to service the, the factory that was up here at the end of the street um, so that the workers would have a place that they could live and call home and be able to walk to work and not be late. So anyway, the, um, the building that is over here to my left is actually, um, I'm going to flip the phone around so you can see it. Maybe. <laughs> this building is now considered the Madison uh, Flea and Antique Market. And it is a wonderful place if you love antiques and just uh, going down memory lane to go in and just take a look around and see what people have in there. Um, I actually furnished my house a little bit with some things in here um, because I could walk to the store and walk home. But anyway, I'm getting ready to take you on a little tour of Madison Heights. Um, also, Madison Lights. All right, now this is Commerce Street, and as you can see, we're coming upon a sign that says Speed Bump or Speed Hump. These were put in, and you'll see in a few minutes, because um, they built one of the Extreme Makeover homes in this subdivision. Um, Extreme Makeover was a show that used to be on a couple of years ago where they would go in and take people's existing homes and just blow them up and it just makes them crazy and they would usually do it in a couple of weeks or a month and um, people would come home to a totally different house the uh the house on the end is actually not a rebuild it was donated to the family because um they uh, the little girl uh, saved her sister's life by pushing her out of the way of an oncoming truck when she was getting ready to get on the school bus and she ended up uh, losing both of her legs because of it um, but she saved her sister's life so because of safety issues we were one of the first little subdivisions that have speed homes this is actually the extreme makeover home has probably seen better days because um, it's kind of old but before we go that way I just want to point out that at the end of this street we have several duplexes um, and these are mostly rentals so we have people that rent here and people that own here and that's a really bad speed bump but this is the extreme makeover home which I think is super cool and I love to go and just kind of hear the stories but yeah and so this is Bell Circle it actually has um, some the, some older homes this home has been existing for a while and then we have these new builds that have just come in recently as people sell off some of their large lots and are trying to just get some money back on their property these homes are newer they back up to what we call I call the pond but it's a, it's called a lake and there are people that go fishing in the lake so Bell Circle is, Commerce and Bell Circle are the two main roads in this area. 
these two are the, probably the newest builds in our subdivision. And this is another duplex on the end. It has recently be re, been redone, refurbished. These um, need a little help. They need a little love, um, but they get rented out quite frequently. Now, we're coming up, this area over here is like, there's a creek down there and it kind of has a little bit of a drop off. Um, but I would like to mention, and if you're interested, there are two lots available for sale right here where, where a builder could build two more homes. So one of them kind of flattens out a little bit more than the other. This is one of my favorite trees in the neighborhood. It is so cute. I love trees. It's spring, so everything is blooming and growing and turning green. So we're coming up to the end of Bell Circle. It goes on up to Ward Street up there. And then there's two more homes up there that are rentals. This is Hodges. If you would like to find out more about Madison, Georgia, check out the rest of my videos. And make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can find all the information located in the comments below. Have a great day.